I'm sorry, Dougal. You're not coming. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. You're not coming. Oh, Dougal, I'm sorry. But you can't come. Oh, gosh, you don't make this easy for me, do you? Hello, so welcome to the video about my bucket list trip. And you will have probably noticed already that number one, Dougal is not with me, and number two, there is no Airstream on the back. So this trip has been on my bucket list since 2009, when I first went to the island of Barra. And basically, what it is, is that I'm going to Manchester via Glasgow. Okay, so it's not about the destinations, it's all about the journey. And any aviation geeks among you, or any transport geeks will know that Barra, the, in the Outer Hebrides, is the place, the airport, with the only commercial passenger service in the world that takes off and lands on the beach. That's right, the beach is the runway. Therefore, the timetable changes twice, maybe three times a week, because it has to fit in around the, the tide times, because at high tide, obviously the runway is underwater, is under the sea, so the planes can't take off and land. But at low tide, that's when the sand is exposed and with it exposes the runway and the planes can take off and land. I have always wanted to fly in or out of Barra, so we're going to fly out of Barra today and back in again on Saturday. I said at the end of the last vlog that I hoped that the weather would be kind, and this is the Outer Hebrides, and you really have to go with it. And I've just seen a deer, or is that a sheep? Or maybe it was a sheep. James Popsis will be jealous if it's a sheep. Oh, sorry, it was a sheep. I thought it was a deer. Maybe it was a deer, disguised as a sheep. Anyway, we're just heading over the committee road in North Uist. We're heading down to the island of Eriskay via Bembecula and South Uist. We're then going to get the ferry across to Barra and then onto the airport. So fingers crossed the ferry is running okay. There's no alerts on CalMac, so we should be good. And fingers crossed the plane will be able to land and take off but the wind is forecast to be nearly 30 miles an hour gusting 42 so let's keep our fingers crossed in the meantime enjoy the drive through the isles of Uist, Bembecula and Eriskay. Right, we're currently on South Uist. We've been driving just over an hour from the, the top of North Uist. And I just wanted to mention a couple of lovely subscribers. Two people got it right about guessing where we're going. A lot of people wrongly guessed that it was St Kilda. Yes, I would love to go to St Kilda, 
hopefully, maybe even this year in the summer, but St Kilda really is a summer trip. I don't think there would be enough daylight to do the trip justice because it takes a long time to get there. Um, so I would like to do it, but St Kilda wasn't actually on my bucket list. It's something I'd really like to do, but it's not something I'm really burning to do. So there are two people who guessed it, so I'd like to say a big hello and thank you to Desmond's Donders. Now, he didn't actually say what it was. He said he had a very good idea and I'm pretty sure knowing the Desmond Donders as I do, um, they got it right. And the one who really got it right, the one who spelt it out loud, was Harry Key. So Harry, top man, you, you guessed it. Um, reading Harry's comment to the last video, it looked like he's actually done it. So um, I'm really looking forward to doing it myself. Anyway, that was the um, Pollocker in Turnoff. We're just going up to Kilbride campsite on South Uist. We cross the, the causeway to Eriskay and then we get the ferry across to Barra. I'm hoping the tide goes out before the plane arrives because that's the runway. Beautiful though, isn't it? Just look at that. Have you ever seen an airport so beautiful in your entire life?
Oh, that is so sweet. Oh, wow. Hi, Andrew. Welcome to Ivy Style. Oh, isn't that so sweet? Oh. Since you're a member of our The Club crew, here's a wee fun fact for you. Did you know Glasgow has a mini Statue of Liberty at the city chambers? All she's missing is a cone on her hair. Have a belter. Oh, that is fantastic. Top marks. The team at the Ibis Styles Glasgow West. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, and one more for luck. Hello! Sorry. So there we have it. That was my bucket list trip. It was the flight from Barra to Glasgow. The only commercial passenger flight in the world that takes off and lands on the beach. The landing was as smooth as butter, so fantastic pilot. And now I'm at the Ibis Styles Glasgow West where I've just checked in on a grand piano, not a desk, a grand piano. There was complimentary fruit and juice to come up to the room and then a lovely little welcome note and a bottle of iron brew and a tonics tea cake. Just, I love touches like that. So full marks to the Ibis Styles in Glasgow. Going back to the flight, that was, I paid 150 pounds return and that was a flexible ticket. I bought flexible just in case the weather didn't play ball and I missed my ferry or something. The ferry fare was, I think it was just over 30 pounds with the car and one passenger. So all in all, the total journey price from North Uist to Glasgow via Barra and that bucket list flight was 180 pounds. That was actually 20 pounds cheaper than if I'd have flown directly from Ben Bacula in the Uist. So that's well worth bearing in mind. I've definitely got the best value out of that. And then the reason I'm doing this trip is tomorrow I'm getting a train down to Manchester where I've been invited by the Camping and Caravanning Club to their Customer Satisfaction Awards or Owner, Owner Satisfaction Awards of the Camping and Caravanning Club. So I'm really looking forward to catching up with my industry chums tomorrow. But for now, I shall leave it there. I'm gonna head off in search of food. No doubt I'll end up back at the 78 on Kel Kelvin Hall Street for a, a dirty burger and chips. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed that little video. If you did and you like that kind of thing, I'm gonna give my buddy a plug. His name is Paul, at Paul's Trip Reports. I'll put a link in the description below. And if you like coming along and traveling vicariously, then do give Paul a follow at Paul's Trip Reports because he's one of my favorite YouTube channels. It was a, something a little bit different for my channel and that was simply because it was something I've always wanted to do but I guess with the Hebridean connection I could kind of get away with it. The next video will be the return journey when I go back from Glasgow to Barra. Anyway, I hope you come back and join us again soon. So it just leaves me to say from Dougal who's with his pals in North Uist. And from me, thanks for tuning in.